Hello everyone, in this video you will learn about FTP protocol. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's a standard network protocol used for transferring files between client and server on a computer network. FTP operates on the client-server model, where the client initiates a connection to the server and the server responds to client's requests. FTP is an insecure protocol, so an alternative protocol has been developed like FTPS, which includes an SSL encryption. There are two modes in FTP, active mode and passive mode. In both modes, we start the connection and connect to port 21, as you see in here. But in active mode, the client sends a port request to the server specifying the client's IP address and the port number for the data connection. The server then initiates a connection back to the IP address and port which client specified for transferring any data. Now let's talk about passive mode. After the established connection to port 21, when we need data transmission, client sends a passive request and server sends response containing a specific port. Until the data transmission is over, client will use a random port and server will use the specified port for data transmission. These data channels are reset in every distinct transmission, therefore new TCP connections are made. Very important note here, command channel is not destroyed until the end. It is the backbone of the communication. This mode might be complicated for you, but when we start examining the PCAP file for FTP traffic, you will understand this better. Until now, we have learned a lot about FTP connections. It's time to reinforce our knowledge by analyzing FTP traffic using Wireshark. FTP provides a set of commands that allow users to upload, download, delete, rename, and manage files on a remote server. It offers a simple and efficient way to transfer files over a network, making it widely used for activities such as uploading website files to a web server, downloading software updates, or sharing files between computers. Here I recorded an FTP traffic on my VM. Let me open a terminal. I want you to see what comments I run while creating this traffic. Now I am on the FTP client. Next to it, there is an FTP server. Our username will be Kali while we are connecting to this FTP server. And this is the IP address. We are gonna use it now. To connect to a server, write FTP Kali IP address, enter. Password is default one, so it's Kali. I typed ls when I was creating this traffic. Then I noticed flag.txt, I wanted to know what is inside that file, so I typed get flag.txt, then I typed exit. Let's turn back to our traffic. FTP connection starts with a three-way handshake, sin, sinec, and ec. Server sends a FTP response packet. Client says the user for logging in is Kali. Server after says Specify the password. Then, let's skip this. Then we send the password request. As you see, we are saying our password is Kali. And login is successful. Then we send a sys request to the server. Sys command is used to retrieve information about the type of operating system running on the FTP server. Response indicates that this is Unix-based operating system. We didn't send this request manually. Client did it automatically for us. The feed request is used to retrieve a list of features supported by the FTP server. And these are the features available to us. End. After the authentication, remember we typed ls command. Before every data transmission, we have to enter passive mode because our server is configured to use passive mode in data transmission. And this is what the client did. Right after this request is sent, check the packet over here. 
all server directory is here. Since the data transmission ends, we finish the connection with film egg flex. This response implies that everything is okay. Now it's time to get the flag.txt. Client sends type I request to switch the mode to binary because data transfer is about to start. Then the client sends size flag.txt request to learn the size of the file. Size of the file is 13 bytes. Now we got everything we need. We can start the data transmission. Let's enter passive mode with this request again. Entering extended passive mode, scene, scenic, egg. Main request is this one, retrieve flag.txt. Opening binary mode data connection for flag.txt. And here is the data inside this file. FTP is fun. If you want to extract this file, Wireshark will help a lot. Go to File, Extract Objects, FTP Data, click flag.txt and save. After retrieving the file, we are finishing the data transmission with these packets. We get a response, transfer completed. Last but not least, there is mdtm flag.txt request. In other words, modification time request. Here comes the response for it. 2023, so on, so forth. Remember, we have typed exit in the terminal and the request equivalent of this is quit. Server says goodbye and afterwards finishing the command communication. Don't forget command communication. We finish the data communication with these flags after retrieving the flag.txt, but with these packets, we are finishing the TCP communication, or you can say common communication, which you saw in here, common channel. This video is over. See you on another video.